up guys and welcome to the channel FWA4. In this video, we're gonna take a look at this giant 3D print that I did on the Anycubic M3 Max. As you can see here, this is the Charizard. He's pretty detailed and he came out absolutely flawless and he is brilliant. So what we did is we had to remove the support. So we just soaked this in lukewarm water and removed any of the supports. It did leave a couple of holes over because we went quite heavy because we didn't want the supports to not hold him and then he warped. So I went heavy on the bottom supports, a little bit lighter on the ones underneath his chin here. But as you can see, he turned out really, really nice. I went ahead and I printed the base. This was printed out in water washable resin. So you can wash it. You don't have to use acetone or anything like that. So this is just water washable. And I decided to do this a different way around. I haven't cured this in my curing station. This has just been sitting on the window after being washed. So I washed it in a vat of water. And as you can imagine, it came out like this and it printed absolutely perfect, no flaws. But I wanted to just kind of clean it up and leave it in the windowsill for a couple of weeks just to see if I can remove the supports myself without uh, having to do it when you're doing it while it is wet because obviously we usually warm the water up the water will make the supports nice and uh, stringy and really easy to get off but I feel like you know it's not going to be that hard to take it off now that it's cured so I wanted to do an experiment to see if I prefer this way or not so we're ready to take the supports off so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start peeling them away and hopefully they will start to break off. As you can imagine, uh, the bottom bit has started to curl up here, which it will do because it's been curing in the window and this bottom section here, the ends will start to lift because it isn't solid because it's quite thin. But let's have a look, see how this comes out. I don't even know what this is going to look like because I've just left it on the window for so long that I just wouldn't even have a clue. I'm going to have to try and find bits of resin I reckon are flying around because this is kind of going everywhere. It's a little bit messier but it's a little bit more satisfying. And as I said you will need to sand it down. I'm trying to hope that it hasn't warped the print over the time that it's been curing. I'm kind of hoping that the print will be okay. I really do hope so. But we will, time will tell. So just removing this away like this. They're coming off all right actually. I just need to make sure that the base is gonna be nice and flat, which we don't know. As you can see, this was printed at a 40 degree angle with auto supports. And it didn't go too crazy on the supports. It just, it added the ones on the bottom but it didn't add them all over too badly for us to have to do much work to this. All right, let's see. And I'm hoping the Charizard will fit in the base with the pegs on the bottom, obviously, as you can see here, it's got pegs and they should sit nicely in those holes. There is a lot of resin to this. Ooh. I'm wondering if it's not flat. Well, we'll find out. We should be able to sand it flat or maybe put it on a wooden base anyway. Uh, but I just wanted to do this experiment to see what would happen. So does that look flat to you guys? Maybe a slight bit of warping, maybe, but nothing that a little bit of sandpaper couldn't fix. So let's just brush all of this resin support to the side and sit it down actually that has come out flat you can see there's a tiny little bit of a gap but there is that gap all the way around it's come out really well there are a couple of little supports here uh, just holding on to the rocks which we can just remove and in the moment of truth i guess there's another one there this will need a nice sand so you will need to sand this down as well um, but this is flat on here. There is a gap, but as I said, that gap is consistent all the way around. I don't know if I can turn it so you can see, but it's a consistent gap all the way over. Right, I think he stands like this, and then his foot goes in that peg there, like that. So it fits absolutely perfectly. Look at that. That is incredible. So guys, I hope you really like this short video just on me curing the supports and then adding the um, 
adding the model on afterwards just because I wanted to see how well it came out. It came out pretty good. I might add some uh, broken Cubone skulls on here because um, I've got some failed prints which I think will look really good. Uh, I will be painting this up and showing you what I do to prep these ready for paint. So if you are really interested in that and you want to see, please like, share and subscribe. And please comment if you've been printing anything just as cool as this for yourself. And see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.